Hey everybody, Rather Mold Man here with a quick video about the importance of using a watered down paint wash when first painting your statuary. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to remind you that underneath this video in the details, you will find my uh, email, my Facebook info, my uh, website, any of that information. If you're wanting more tips like this or uh, need to ask me a question about making statuary, that'll all be under there and you can easily get a hold of me. So, you may have seen in some of my old videos I talk about uh, using a base coat when painting items. Now for this statue here, if you look at it, it has a black base coat. This is not going to be the finished product. I gave it a black base coat and then what I did is I watered down the paint. I use a uh, latex paint, exterior latex, which is a water-based paint. And I watered it down and I wet the concrete so that it was completely soaked with water. And then I did this black wash on it. And yes, it's kind of messy. It drips and that. And if you look at my paint table here, paint gets everywhere and that. Not the kind of thing you necessarily want to do on your kitchen counter. But by doing that with the paint, watering it down, what it does is it will take that base coat and actually suck some of it into the pores of the concrete itself. Concrete is very porous. And I don't care how smooth your piece looks, it will absorb moisture. And if you have watered down paint, it'll soak some of that color into the piece itself. And if you can, I don't know how well it'll show up, but it's not a super solid coat of black paint here. There's streaks and that in it. That's fine. I just want the black on there to kind of give it a coat so that I can then go over with my colors on top and it will last a lot longer. Why do you do this? Well, here's the thing. I had this piece sent to me not too long ago. A person wanted me to kind of uh, remake this uh, design for them. Kind of a unique design. It's a bird bath that is a golf ball uh, and a golf tee. Uh, now, I don't know how old it is. I don't know who painted it. I don't know when it was painted. However, I do know just from looking at it how it was painted. And I'm going to try to zoom in here so you can see. You can see that there's a lot of paint coming off here. And you can probably also tell that the paint is kind of peeling off and little flakes in that. Now I already took a bunch of it off, but you can kind of see here, it just kind of continues to peel off, kind of like a sticker wall, but yeah, look at that. Just all, no, nothing holding the paint on at all. And if you look, the concrete here, very porous and rough. This has lots of pits in it. Now you see that and you want to paint it, Obviously, we've been taught, well, you want to use thick paint and just coat that on there and fill all that uh, rough spots. That seems like the smart thing to do. However, when you do that without watering it down, all the paint does is dry almost instantly like a shell on the outer surface of the concrete. It does not provide any uh, lasting strength to the paint whatsoever. It just, you know, over time, you'll start getting peels like this, and it's just going to get worse and worse. So that is why... You do a base coat and you do it watered down. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be a black base coat. I use black on the majority of my items, but I'll also use gray and brown. But I use that watered down base coat, make a sloppy wet uh, mess of paint and coat the piece. Let that dry and then I go over it. And to show you the finished piece here, here's the version of that bird bath that I made. And I just realized I'm looking at the back of it. It's supposed to be turned around. I don't know if I can turn it one handed here. Ugh. There we go. This was giving, given a black base coat all over it, the watered down version. And then after that dried, I went and did uh, the dry brushing technique on the golf tee and the grass and the greens there. Uh, only the golf ball did I paint over the black with a solid color to get the solid white. But underneath all of these colors here, it is all a watered down black base coat that started it causing the paint to get absorbed into the concrete itself so that in turn all these colors on top of that paint are going to last much longer. We've tested this out for years. We have found no better way to get a long lasting paint finish on your concrete statuary and that's the difference. Um, again, if you've seen this on your pieces and that, that's probably uh, in the long run what's causing it is you got dry paint that's drying too fast on the surface of the concrete and a bit of moisture will do that. And keep in mind, you don't want to use oil-based paints for that. You want to use water-based. That's why I use the exterior latex paints, which are water-based. Anyway, folks, I hope that explains it a little bit better and why it is so important to use that uh, watered-down wash when first starting to paint your items. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, if you have any other questions or uh, concerns, go ahead and check out the details underneath this video and uh, feel free to contact me. Bye-bye.